Well, ICE Chief Thomas Homan testified on Capitol Hill recently. Democratic Congresswoman Nanette Berrigan of California decided she couldn't waste the opportunity, so she began berating him for the crime of doing what he is paid to do. According to the Congresswoman, ICE's enforcement of national laws is immoral. Watch this. We love to talk about this issue about the MS-13 gangs. We love to paint immigrants as criminals. That is not the complete facts. And that is very offensive for me to see continuing to happen, is continuing to message this, this anti-immigrant agenda. First of all, no one on this panel is anti-immigrant. We're law enforcement officers to enforce the law that you all enacted. So to sit there and say that we're anti-immigrants is wrong. Well, we invited that non-genius member of Congress to come on the show and explain the reasoning behind her statement, but of course she declined. Instead, we're joined by New York attorney and illegal immigrant, Cesar Vargas. Cesar, thanks for coming on. Tucker, thank you so much for having me again. I don't know why I find this, this is maybe the most amusing thing I think I've ever seen. So here's a mem I guess she's a member of Congress, going <laughs> head to head with the director of ICE and claiming that it is wrong for him to do what he is paid to do. What does she think ICE does? Well, any law enforcement agency, their job is to keep us safe, correct? Their job is to ensure that community trusts law enforcement to ensure everyone is safe, regardless of their immigration no, status. No, it's to enforce now, the laws. No, yeah. well, well, exactly, right? Why do we enforce right. the law? To keep us safe. Now, ICE is tripling the amount of people arrested without violent criminal records. So the congressman is right on that point where not only is ICE going after the, the rapists, the murderers, they're going after grandma. They're going after Oh, the so does day the law, no, wait, hold on, you're the, the attorney. I just, no, I've got, a, I've got a question for you. So the law says that ICE can only arrest people with certain kinds of criminal records or commit certain kinds of crimes? Is that, is that what the federal law says? Federal law says that Immigration Customs Enforcement has to detain people who violently uh, vi violate laws in, like murder, like anything like that. But they also, the law says that ICE and any law enforcement agency has the discretion to, to pursue the most violent criminals. So ICE is going after the grannies instead of the murderers. ICE is going after the day laborers instead of the rapists. So ICE is not doing their job when they are just focusing on everyone instead no. of using our resources no. so, so on you're, okay, keeping so us safe. Okay, so for example, hold on. You're here illegally, correct? No, no. Like I have, I had DACA, and now I'm in the process of changing my immigration status. Okay. So no. Okay. So you know, well, so we you're have not to understand. Okay. You know, no, I'm an that's attorney. Totally fine. You're not, and your viewers are not. So I need to explain the law. No, no. Just to asking every you. single person. You may be an attorney, but you're misstating a fact, which is that people who are here illegally are, by definition, violating federal law. And so ICE absolutely has a right, in fact, it's its charter to enforce federal law, so it has a right to detain them, and the United States government and its citizens have a right to deport them. Whether they choose to or not is another question. But you can't attack somebody for enforcing the law as written. By the way, as written by the Congress in which that member of Congress sits. So I don't know if they taught you this part in law school, but what she said is insane. No, I think it's very clearly, look, I think, listen, ICE has a job to do, no question about it. The Congress has their job to do. And you're right, they haven't got the jo their job done in years. They haven't passed immigration reform. They have, haven't passed proper what? No, that's, education. That's not so, what I'm saying. I'm no, just saying. But look, I think it comes to the point of where no, we no. are at this moment, that okay, we need to keep this nation safe. And ICE should go after people who violently uh, threaten okay, our security. I don't know why I'm taking a lecture on ICE law from someone who broke our laws to come here. But, 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 but hold on. If you think that that's true, then you're obviously not bothered by the president's emphasis on rounding up known members of a, of a murderous street gang. But I bet you are bothered by that, right? Are you one of the people who, are you one of the animal rights activists who wept when he used the word animal to describe MS-13? Well, listen, I think we should keep our nation safe. And law enforcement has a job to do, whether it's the NYPD, the LAPD, or ICE. They have a job to do. Now, the president is confusing two things, like many things. If we, MS-13 is the product of the U.S., we created MS-13, oh, just as we fault. created the KKK. So why does it always so come down, you know, this is actually the one thing that does irritate me, so I want to cut this part of the conversation short because I don't want to get mad at you, but blaming the United States for fentanyl ODs, for MS-13, for the waves of people coming to this country illegally, in your description, it's always our fault. No, we deserve it's the this. fact. Very different thing. It's not you a said fact. Don't it's a have subjective a assessment. It's a okay, fact. Okay, hold on. Wait. We created in the 1980s we when 
you, okay. you just look it up. I don't you have know, any patience with this, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let you continue because you don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to mislead my viewers. But let me just ask you really quickly, if you think the job of ICE is to protect American citizens and they ought to go after violent criminals, then why wouldn't you be them encouraging them to round up every MS-13 member in this country illegally and deport them tomorrow? But I bet you're not for that. I bet you're defending MS-13 like everybody else on your side, no, right? No, I, th I think if MS-13 or any gang member violently commits a crime, kills someone, they should spend the rest of their life in prison. That's what the law says, right? But if you know someone's a member, so I'm, I'm someone's here with you and so many you of your viewers. Here, if you believe someone's a member of MS-13 and he's here illegally, you don't think that's enough to deport him? Well, why are we going to oh. really exacerbate oh, a problem? Okay, sorry, we I just want to reveal them. to my viewers where you're They come over there and make people added. come back. You know, it's the logic it's, that we need to see. Fault. We can't okay. exacerbate a problem by Got sending yeah, people it's, it's always, who we created. It's America's fault. Yeah, we created it. What do you mean, we? You're not even a citizen! Anyway, Caesar, thank you. Thank you so much. It.